So friends, the Sun and Sands Motel is where uh, Elvis, he stayed. This is where they stayed. We believe that the arch, I'll show you a, a photograph of the arch. It's actually on a postcard. There was an arch that went across the street and they had Sun and Sands on this side, on the ocean side. And then they had a Sun and Sands on that side. Somebody told us that where the Waffle House is, there used to be a Margaritaville right here across the street. And the pink Cadillac that we see in the arch picture is where the Margaritaville uh, building would have been. So that made us think that the arch was gonna be somewhere right along in here. We really can't find, there's nothing left, unfortunately, of the hotel or even of the arch or anything like that. But Elvis spent a lot of time here uh, at this hotel and they would go across and they would talk about going across to Coco's, K-O-K-O, -O, restaurant and eat. And Elvis had a run in with a waitress at this particular restaurant, but he loved to go there. The waitress wasn't too uh, impressed by Elvis. And when he asked for the eggs to be a certain way, he liked his eggs fried hard and he liked his eggs or his bacon burned. And he sent it back multiple times the third time, he just poured the eggs in the floor and got up and walked out and told, um, who was the guy that was with him? Arthur. Yeah, I told Arthur Hooten to give to pay him a tip, a good tip, and he just left because she would not make his eggs like he wanted it. And you know, let me tell you something. Give the man his eggs like he wants them. And one more thing: the reason Arthur Hooten was carrying the money. As Elvis said that he couldn't be bothered with little things like having to reach in his pockets to get money for people. He let the, the minor details, other people handled the minor details and he handled the singing. That's how it was, friends.